All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing yet another beer from the Beer Tree Brew Company, and they're out of Port Crane, New York, and this is their slightly fuzzy, the blackberry and lime variant. So this is a Berliner Weiss that is brewed with the aforementioned fruits, comes in at 4.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs this in time of review. This can is approximately three weeks old. So a couple months ago, I did a comparison video of two different variants of Slightly Fuzzy, the Raspberry Lime and the Blueberry Lime, and it was a tale of two different beers. Really like the Raspberry version. I think I gave it like a 4.2 out of 5, but the Blueberry was very disappointing to my palate. It was kind of just meh, subtle. I think I gave it a 3.5. Uh, I was so surprised because they both look delicious and the raspberry, to my palate, in my opinion anyway, was way better. So uh, when it comes to berries, blackberries, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, period. And uh, when I saw this one, I was like, all right, hopefully this is more like the raspberry one and less like the blueberry one. So I had to grab it uh, and give it a go. And here we are. So yeah, relatively fresh too. Uh, I mentioned this in prior reviews, but I'll mention it again. We are starting to get uh, distribution, like true distribution from Beer Tree here in the Western New York area. So a lot of their beers are showing up and I'm going to be reviewing a lot of them because they make great beer. So let's give it a pour here. And yeah, that looks like there's a shit ton of blackberry. So that looks like, honestly, the blueberry version. Um, because when I poured it out, the raspberry, you know, wasn't as like, uh, didn't look as, um, didn't look as like thick. And like, this looks like kind of like blackberry juice. The blueberry one looked like blueberry juice. The raspberry one just looked like a beer with raspberry in it. Uh, but this one definitely looks like a very thick and frothy, uh, yeah, fruit beer. So it's like a straight on purple color. Uh, the head is a light purple, uh, look to it uh, about a half finger of a slightly creamy soap sudsy kind of head uh, very murky and turbid can't really see through that yeah it looks like blackberry juice let's get a nose oh definitely smells better than the blueberry one but not as good as the raspberry yeah full-on blackberry with a nice like over overlying like lime essence um more of like a juice than a zest it smells like it's gonna have a nice sweetness behind it but also a firm tartness a little bit of a base, uh, like wheat kind of kind of character to the Berliner Weiss. But yeah, smells pretty good. What I like about this one is it doesn't have like a fruit smoothie kind of feel. If I'm picking up Berliner Weiss that's kind of like this, I want it to be more effervescent and kind of just like refreshing, crushable, and not sickly sweet. And I think this one is going to do that for me. But there's only one way to find out, and that's taste it. So cheers, everyone. Mm-hmm. Oh. I like that a lot, a lot. Right up front, the blackberry is very prominent. It's seedy blackberries, almost like you're eating a uh, like a mashed up blue um, blackberry. But then this lime kind of juice, like acidic kind of lime character, hits right after it from the palate, which is crazy, but also cool. And then mid palate, the, the tartness from the blackberry, from the base Berliner, from even the the lime itself, kind of hits. And it's a nice mouth pucker. And this is, I think, a bit sour than, a bit more sour than the last two. I, I would say this is higher. This I said firm tartness. This is higher side of tart to lower side of sour. Approaching, I'd say low sour. It gripped the back of my um, my jaw. And when that happens, usually a sour beer. Yeah, very, I'm going to say low sourness this one. It finishes with a nice residual sweetness, a slight dryness, and a touch of acidity. There isn't really any bitterness to speak of in this one. The body at 4.5% is like lower side of medium body, which is nice, a little bit bigger than you anticipate for a sub 5% beer. The mouthfeel, crisp, slightly effervescent, but there's a nice soft, smooth kind of consistency, uh, consistency to this one because it kind of has like a slight fruit smoothie quality to the mouthfeel. Yeah, this is, I think this is my favorite of the three. Again, gave the raspberry lime a 4.2. I believe I gave the blueberry a 3.5, the blueberry lime a 3.5. So I, I have no problem giving slightly fuzzy, the blackberry and lime variant a uh, 4.25 out of five. So just above the raspberry there, they're very close, but I guess it comes down to, do you prefer raspberries or blackberries? To me, blackberries by a smidge. So I enjoy this one a little bit more. I think this has, you know, it's not a lot of complexity here. Um, blackberries, lime, a little bit of the base Berliner Weiss, but what, this has going for it in spades is the drinkability of this one, the crushability, uh, the refreshing nature of this beer. This is a beer that I'd want in the summertime. So it makes sense that I'm drinking it, you know, in the middle of winter, but this is what 
excuse me, that I definitely want, you know, in the warmer months because I could crush a ton of them. Extremely, way, uh, extremely well made and quite tasty. So again, 4.25 for this one. Uh, availability and uh, price point. Um, availability on these, if you're in Western New York, you can pretty much get your hands on them now. They were getting a uh, pretty good distro into Rochester. Now they've moved a little further west here into Buffalo. So if you're in Western New York or like Central New York, you should be able to get your hands on some of their offerings. Otherwise, you got to go to the brewery. Uh, and price point on this one, four fifty dollars a can I paid. Now the last two I paid four twenty five dollars a can. I think these run anywhere from like $17 to $18 a four-pack. So a bit, bit pricey for something that's 4.5%. But you're talking, look at the color. Tons of, blue, tons of blackberry. They're using lime. Um, so whether or not you think it's good value, you know, it's in the eye of the beholder, like I say all the time. For me, would I pay $4.50 a can uh, for this one? Yeah, I'd probably pay that for this in the raspberry. Definitely not for the blueberry. Uh, if I was in the mood for a blackberry beer that I knew that I could just grab off the shelf locally, I would definitely grab this one again in the warmer months to drink, uh, you know, at a barbecue or a poolside or at the beach or whatever. This would definitely be in that realm. So I think it's a good beer. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. 4.5% drinks like a sub 5% beer. You can't even tell there's alcohol in here. It's just a really refreshing, easygoing beer. And I'm going to drink the rest of it and enjoy every second. So uh, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review. Till the next one. Cheers.